Hey everybody, IHTW here, and as you can see, I am building something yet again. So, I've been going on a building streak, really. Uh, so I've been making that tank, as you saw in the last video, and now I'm working on the other tank up here, which I'm not going to tell you what I'm putting in it yet, but uh, you will see eventually. So, here it is, I have a cardboard backing. Yes, I am making a fake rock background for this one, as well as the other one. Um, but I'm going to start off with this one first because it doesn't need a whole isolated tank in plexiglass. So I have this little box here. It's a, it's a random hide. So I'm going to be putting here and covering up with uh, fake rock. And I'll be doing a fake rock background and maybe another hide here. Maybe even like another second layer on top of this hide. So it's going to look pretty cool once I finish it. I have all the styrofoam from my uh, new computer desk which I built a little while back. Um, people from Instagram will probably know, so if you guys haven't checked my Instagram, go ahead and do it. Link in the description or click here if I can actually put a link right there. Um, I do random pictures of random stuff, so you can check that out if you really want to. So, yeah, I'm going to be start cutting out uh, some shapes and stuff like that to be smacking on here. Um, and eventually I'll be painting this and sealing it uh, in the following days or weeks. Who knows how long it'll take me. So... I cut out a few pieces, just want to show you guys something. So basically I just grab a strip, crack it in half, or just split it down the middle, scrape off a bunch of little pieces as you can see right here. So I'll zoom, show you guys the detail. Um, it should look like, this is actually polystyrene, not styrofoam. Um, it's much softer and easier to use, so it, you can see it has a ton of bubbles. It looks okay for fake rock, but uh, professionals like me, I don't really just leave it like that. As you can see, these rocks look much different. Um, they're also much harder and they don't flake everywhere like these. Um, so the difference, if you can see, is pretty drastic if you can see it in real life. So what I do is I take a random lighter, you know, blow it up and then I burn just very lightly, just lightly burn everything to a little crisp. Um, I'm not responsible for any injuries if you guys use this type of technique. Um, there is a chance you could catch fire with these things and obviously you can get burned. Um, so don't try it if you don't know how to do it. So anyways, I do it all the time so I'm fine with it. Um, so all of these have already been uh, lightly burned. The rest I'm going to have to do. and I still have to cut out more pieces uh, to put around here so let's keep on going. So here it is, the fake rock wall pretty much completed. Um, I did cut out the pieces and uh, finished up the ones for the hides except the one around the moist and warm hide which I haven't done completely but I'm still working on it. Um, so yeah everything's looking really good. Once it's all painted and everything it's gonna look really nice I can already predict that it's gonna be an awesome fake rock background. So yeah looking pretty good just heating up my hot glue gun so I can put everything into place um, so I won't fly around everywhere and then by tomorrow I should be able to start uh, painting it I might have a video for that tomorrow I don't know but uh, so far it's looking pretty awesome Blue. okay so as you can see I've cut out everything uh, got oops my bad let me see so if I could show you guys look at it it's awesome I'm just gonna have to paint it and everything. There's the moist hide you can see. I did use quite a few pieces to make it more 3D'd and it looks pretty good. So how I remove it is just slide it and it comes out. So it actually has this little clip system right here that hooks into it. Can't really show you guys, but you can't slide it out normally. So you have to turn it like that and then pull it out. So it's pretty cool. Um, I did cut out a little piece here for the heater to go underneath this. Um, for a certain animal uh, so it looks pretty good so far um, I wanted to paint it by today but it's really dark now I th I think it's like 10 or something and I'm out of paint so I'm gonna have to head to the craft store tomorrow uh, probably with BL and be able to finish all this and then work on his crested gecko tank which he's getting a crested gecko so yeah that's pretty much it. Hope you guys uh, liked the video, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Whoa.